Okay, midnight. Snow, midnight, can you imagine? And all, everything we went through the past two months, the coronavirus, um, this could really push a few people over the edge by over the weekend because uh, people are stressed out. And there's one issue the media and the government do not talk about it. Suicide. They don't touch that. It's a faux pas. You do not touch that issue. Because under under the strict privacy laws, they don't. They 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 don't tell the public how many suicides there has been in this province. And just like for a long, long while, if you die a drug overdose, they would say you died a heart failure. That's another thing. Somebody just told me, uh, Miramichi, but just all over over the province, Crystal Met. Uh, Crystal Met. I guess a lot of them are getting the money from the government. They haven't seen them on the street. So they got their money, but unfortunately, like the government said, they're, they're, they're going to go after them, whoever fraud the government to get this $2,000. But maybe that's a good thing. Give all people on Crystal Met $2,000 a month for the summer months. You won't see them around. They'll stay home. Okay, focus trails. The suicide issue is a very, very serious one. And the government must address this. My source, somebody contacted me, won't mention any names, and that's not under the Privacy Act. I want to mention names, I will mention names. Um, somebody, a friend, committed suicide. All right. That friend went at the Chalmers Hospital, the mental ward, and went there and was released, even though this person said, listen, I'm harm. I'm gonna harm myself. I'm not gonna go no details. The person might want to talk to me, a friend, via video. But anyway, so they let him go. Well, at least I did say he. So they let him go, and then he committed suicide. Now the the staff at the mental ward, at the Chalmers Hospital, or any staff, they have the regulars. I mean, you go there. I'm sure they have the right intention. They're gonna focus on their clients. But after a while, it's like any other workplace. You don't take your job seriously. I mean, I remember one day, I was standing outside the hospital, just outside the door, and this guy just come out, and I know this guy is mental issues, and he was all dressed up, and he comes to me and he says, then he calm, he said, if, Listen, if you take my picture, I'll break your fucking neck. And then he goes, do you have a cigarette? So, <laughs> anyway, break my neck to ask me for a smoke. Anyway, so these are the kind of people that the staff has to deal with. So during the coronavirus, is the, is the government going to tell the public how many suicides we had in this province? Everything is not happy. Everything is not, uh, oh, just uh, be home with the family, uh, read stories from the iPad or whatever, and then just uh, beside the uh, fireplace and singing songs. No, 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 no. That's not what's happening here. There's a lot of domestic dispute. There's, uh, there's, there's people getting very, very edgy. And that's the question I'm asking. Now, do you know somebody? Do you know somebody that's, that have committed suicide during the past month? Don't mention no names. Let me know. I mean, it'd be nice to know if this is a crisis. Now, let's not forget the coronavirus there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, the coronavirus. Ooh, look out. The only reason the government is really cracking down has nothing to do for the, the safety of the citizen. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They couldn't give a rat ass 
I mean, coronavirus, they see it coming with a hat on and suitcase. Uh, they would open the door for the old folks home. Come on in, Corona. Come on in. Go to the old folks home and do, do your job. <laughs> Dead. And that will save a lot of money for health care. That's, that's the reason that the senior death, the special care home, has been neglected for the last 40 years. Now, the only reason they're all panicky is because under a capitalist system, they cannot handle this uh, crisis because everybody will end up in the hospital at the same time and then the citizen will be in a big uproar that they thought that they, they, they had a proper health care system, which we don't. We do not have a proper health care system. And this is the reason that they're panicking and a lot of people with mental issues cannot handle this. Cannot ha handle this. And um, no, it would be interesting to know how many suicides the past month in New Brunswick. You know somebody? Let me know.